Did you realize that Ryu always addresses Belle by his last name, Kranosan? Kranosan, why? Because she is so formal. And this is a professional relationship we got going on. But then what does Belle do? All right, I'm going to act like this is a really desperate situation. I'm going to act like I'm almost die. And then she will say my first name. She yells Belle. And oh my God, that moment was actually so good. Oh my goodness. She starts blushing. Man, the Ryu Belle ship is sailing. Haruhime, who? Wine, who? Lily, who? Hestia. I don't even know what Hestia is even doing anymore. Let's begin today's reaction. Apologize for making her, you know, get all they you know, feel that it was getting dangerous. Oh, we're getting her wet. Hey, yo. Huh? What? Okay, I thought <laughs> for a second, like, her two summer panties just dropped. What the? God damn. Oh. No, 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 we're not looking. We're not. We're not looking. Maybe respectfully. No, don't look, guys. Don't look. Oh, look at Bill. Oh my goodness. No, it's for your own sake. <laughs> so good. So good. No, it's for you. No. See, he still won't look at her. Oh. What a gentleman. Oh, and he puts it on her. I love this guy. He's so good. He's so good. The Riz, dude. The Riz. The Riz Lord Bell. Dude, Heste would be freaking out if she saw this. <laughs> they still won't look at each other. Look at her facing her back towards Bell. She's so embarrassed. Oh, come on. Come on. Just put the cape, you know, in, in front so you can face us instead. Mm. But right now it's different, huh? When he's spying on us in the back. Did we do? When was that? Was that an OVA? I forget. But... <laughs> right, I, I forget. Like, Echi seems like that really does happen a lot of this anime. In the earlier seasons, for sure. Right now, it's just been such, like, despair and danger and serious moments. We don't really get those Echi moments. That's just ingrained in him. Like, it doesn't matter. Because that's just who Bell is as a person. Every season, at any point where people try to sacrifice themselves for Bell, Bell found a way to make every, every everything work. It's very idealistic. Exactly. But it's idealistic because he's a hero. He can make those ideals become reality. Look at those eyes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ulterior motive? What, you think we're trying to get in there? Like, I mean, hey, if that happens, that's great, but he doesn't think about shit like that. See? Remember the previous episode where there was a scene where the Astrid family was like, there was like a water separating Ryu and them. And they walked away and Ryu was like, please don't leave us. Bell's right. She needs to move forward. They would hate you. Come on. Exactly. You got to live for them. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. He's so good. What is this feeling? Oh, Doki, Doki. Huh? Physical contact during this situation where hypothermia could happen is actually <laughs> it's very yes it, it, it's 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 actually scientifically true that's how you, you like you know preserve body heat but <laughs> look at her ears getting hot <laughs> wow she's really forcing herself on her come here yeah I really forgot like moments like this existed in this series season four has been just so crazy that I totally forgot about this. I'd even hug a dwarf. Man, elves really hate dwarves in just fantasy fiction. You? You think Bell would have indecent thoughts? No, he's a pure boy, but I bet Ryu would have indecent thoughts. Oh my goodness. I might just punch you out. I might just slap. How are you going to say this in such a cute way? I mean, your body is complete. Okay, she's fumbling the words. She's like, oh my god, I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm like, I... <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> it hurts to laugh at the visage. <laughs> Yo, the downtimes like this where we're just casually hanging out. It's, it's so, it's so valuable. I love scenes like this. Oh, come on. It's skin to skin contact. Come on. Huh? Okay! Respectfully, Bill. What? See, she's shivering! Contact has been made. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. And then you put the cape 
together, right? Like behind, and then we all. Oh, oh. <laughs> Closer. Yes. The cutest part was her ears getting all flushed. Oh my god. Bro, don't look at there. Ryu san, your panties are white, I see. How small she is. I guess, like. Yeah, just like body, like. Small bones, I don't know. Thin. No, that's kind of an insult. What are we. You don't think I'm thick? What the fuck you talking about, huh? I'm sorry, you have no tits and ass. Is that what you're gonna say? Oh, duh, she's a woman. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. Oh, you want to protect her? Of course you do. Oh. Unfair? Is she thinking indecent thoughts? Slap yourself. What do you want to do when you get home? Man, I just want to have a chill episode where we're all just like having a fun time. Oh, but like shit like this is major death flags. Like you shouldn't be talking about in a dangerous moment. What do you want to do when you get home? I want to visit my family. I want to visit my loved ones. You know, in the future, we'll open up a shop. Some shit like that. That's like the most cliche death flags that happen. But I really think that they'll live. I, I, I do because that will just make it work. Hestia! Oh, that would be so nice. And Hestia's gonna be like, Did you do anything with Ryu down there? Just like you. Hey, she's part of our family too now. Alright, no more fan service. But I'd argue that fan service was not shameless. It's uh, there was like a, you know, skin to skin contact to preserve body heat as the actual survival technique. And. It was nothing of like belt tripping and just landing in Ryu's tits. Like that kind of shit's way too much. That was actually so, actually so wholesome. <laughs> just a one-time thing? No, it can be more than a one-time thing. Come on. <laughs> she is totally falling for him. Look at it be like, no, it's one-time thing. My mind is playing a trick on me. I'm not in love with him. Oh. It's not a good thing. You think it's good, but I feel like something huge is gonna show up. Like the Juggernaut? The Juggernaut hasn't shown up in a long time. Where is it? I really thought it would show up the Coliseum. It didn't. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say finally luck's on our side. It's... Mm, careful. You're on that copium. Uh-oh. Whenever things look too good, shit's gonna pop off again. Sense what? Something's lurking. Can't be the juggernaut, right? There's bloodthirst. Careful, Gala. What? Is this the juggernaut feasting on? That is the juggernaut, right? Hello? Haven't seen you in a long time. Oh, shit. See, what did I say? I mean, I think everybody was expecting it, but like when you started saying shit like, oh, everything's going fine now. Looks on our side, like, no, no, no. It's been eating a lot of different monsters. I wonder if it's gotten stronger, more intelligent. It's got a right arc. It regrew it by eating the other monsters, probably. It's the skull sheep, I think. What's going on? Yeah, just like Moss Deep. Right? Remember Moss Deep would eat and then it would go stronger and more intelligent? Or maybe this is a little bit different from how Moss Deep was working. That looks so grotesque though. The other part of the arm that kind of looks more like... I don't know, it looks like flesh? Yeah. It actually looks way scarier now. How much stronger did it become though? Ah, shit. Maybe it's still injured? Or maybe it's completely recovered. Yeah, all those different monsters combined. But like, Bell has been also training a lot. Right? And he's been, I'm sure, he didn't level up. But I'm sure he's gotten stronger to reach the potential of his level cap. Oh. New attacks, I think. I don't think we've seen that before. Oh, shit. 
It can mimic the. Oh my goodness. Ah! It looks like a slight cut. Okay, it's not too bad. So it's a bit slower now, but it has new abilities, which could work in her favor. Ryu, you gotta move! But she's still got that trauma, right? I don't want to lose him. Oh, come on! You gotta move forward! Anyone but Bell. Maybe our... Oh, she saved us! Is your leg okay, though? Okay, 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 okay. Maybe, um... Remember, we still have the rest of our guild, like our party. And they also... The Xenos is coming, too, so... I bet... Huh? The floor boss? Oh, no, no, what is... Don't, dude, don't tell me you got stabbed. Okay, I thought we were gonna see Bell with like a spike coming out of his chest. That's still a pretty bad injury. Oh! That's the thing where you like heal up the wound by just like, I forgot the exact terminology for it, but like you can burn your wound so that it closes the wound. Oh, oh. Guys, Xenos, rest of our party, guys. Not be a good time to show up. We're gonna act like we're dead now? Yeah. Oh? I think it's working. I think. Or maybe the Juggernaut is finding a different path, but we're okay for now. Dude, that was so raw how he went firebolt on his open wound and closed it. Oh. No, don't give up. Lost too much blood. No food either. No, don't give up. No, remember what the Astria family would say. I hope so, but I don't know. This sounds like the words of someone dying. This really sounds like they're both about to die and they're like, we'll go back home together, right? Like, bro, stop it. What do you mean one last time? We could have more times. Oh my god, no, no, no. Hmm? Okay, he's holding on to her. Xenos! Somebody! Where's her party? If there's one good thing that's coming out of this, all these shitty situations, is that the fact that we're bonding so much. Look how happy Ryu is. I'm not sure if she's only happy that this is so sad. She's just happy that, you know, she could potentially spend the last moments with Belle. Don't you dare open those eyes. No, 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 no. Dude, that's what people say when they're about to die. Don't. We're just taking a little nap, right? This is a little nap, right? What's he up to now? As long as I can feel the pain, I can move. That's so raw. Are you, you still there? Taking a little nap, right? I will protect her. I have I have no doubt he will. But holy shit. Like, versus the Juggernaut, though? 1v1? Look, I get that Bell is a hero, but right now, with all these different injuries, the Juggernaut's new form, it's looking a bit tough, but it's slower. Granted, it's got a new skill set. But... Now, either Bell will somehow pull kind of plot armor out his ass, level up, I don't know, do some kind of crazy shit, limit break, and beat the Juggernaut, or the Xenos and the rest of our party will come and save us, or a combination of the two where Bell does really pop off. He's about to win. Something happens where the Juggernaut might be able to kill him, and then, boom, plot armor kicks in. Xenos shows up. Wiene shows up. And then Wiene goes, who is this bitch, Bell? I don't think so. He'll say that, but oh my god, Bell and Ryu moment's so good. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.